Doctor is revolutionizing treatment for babies with very serious birth defects. And it's now getting results. Tonight, ABC Action News reporter Isabel Rosales with why one local hospital now believes that they have the highest survival rate in the world. Whenever Arabella cries, it's okay, baby. Parents Mindy and Christopher Kaler only feel joy. An ultrasound left them with a devastating diagnosis. My child have a problem. I feel like so confused and lost. Congenital diaphragmatic hernia, typically a deadly disease. Here's what you need to know about CDH. Looking at this doll, it leaves babies with basically dangerously small lungs. Only about 50% of them live past their first six months. With just a 10% survival rate, they were hopeless and heartbroken. Until a support group connected the Kalers from California to this hospital and Dr. David Case. And he said, I will tell you that she has enough lung to survive. He said she may not win the marathon, but she will participate. And he gave us an 85% chance. We believe we have the highest survival rate in the world. At 95%, it's sparking a surge of patients from all over the world. Part of Kay's secret to success is taking the risk of surgery. Doing a major operation on a baby whose blood doesn't clot is a scary thing and leads to a high risk of bleeding. Open your hand. You're such a strong little girl. Kay's wants other hospitals to be as successful. He's working on publishing his data in a medical journal, giving more of these newborns back their ability to cry. <coughs> and saving their lives. I would waiting for the whole time to just to hold her. In St. Pete, I'm Isabel Rosales. Don't take my sunshine away. ABC Action News.